Ethnic Groups and Boundaries, The Social Organization, by Frederick Barth is a seminal work in the field of anthropology that delves into the complex and often fluid nature of ethnic boundaries and identity. Published in 1969, this book presents a theoretical framework for understanding how ethnic groups are formed, maintained, and transformed. Through a meticulous analysis of various case studies, Barth challenges traditional notions of ethnicity as fixed and emphasizes the role of social processes and interactions in shaping ethnic identity. Barth's central argument revolves around the idea that ethnic groups are not primordial or inherent, but rather they are socially constructed entities. He rejects the essentialist perspective that views ethnicity as a product of shared cultural traits, language, or biological characteristics. Instead, Barth posits that ethnic identity emerges from the interactions and relationships between different groups of people. He argues that ethnic boundaries are created and maintained through social processes, and they can change over time in response to various factors. One of the key concepts introduced by Barth is the notion of ethnic boundary. He defines an ethnic boundary as a symbolic marker that distinguishes one group from another. These markers can include language, religion, customs, and other cultural traits. Ethnic boundaries are not static but are dynamic and subject to negotiation. Barth's work emphasizes that the definition and significance of these markers can change as groups interact with each other. Barth's case studies, such as the Swat Patans in Pakistan and the Bakhtaman in New Guinea, illustrate his theoretical framework in action. In the case of the Swat Patans, he demonstrates how different lineages within the Patan community assert their distinctiveness by emphasizing particular cultural practices and symbols. This highlights the fluidity of ethnic identity as different lineages within the same ethnic group can have varying boundaries and markers. Another important aspect of Barth's analysis is the role of competition and cooperation in shaping ethnic boundaries. He argues that groups define their boundaries in relation to other groups, and the interactions between these groups can either reinforce or challenge these boundaries. Competition for resources or political power can lead to the reinforcement of ethnic boundaries, as groups seek to protect their interests. Conversely, cooperation and intermarriage can blur these boundaries, leading to a more flexible understanding of ethnicity. Barth's work also sheds light on the role of individuals in the construction of ethnic identity. He argues that individuals can play a significant role in shaping and negotiating ethnic boundaries. For example, individuals who straddle the boundaries of two ethnic groups may choose to emphasize their affiliation with one group over the other in different contexts. This highlights the agency of individuals in defining their own ethnic identity. In addition to his theoretical contributions, Barth's work has had a lasting impact on the field of anthropology. It has inspired scholars to move away from essentialist and deterministic views of ethnicity and to explore the dynamic and contingent nature of ethnic identity. Researchers have applied Barth's framework to various contexts, including studies of immigration, diaspora, and multiculturalism. In conclusion, Frederick Barth's Ethnic Groups and Boundaries, The Social Organization, has been a seminal work in the field of anthropology, challenging conventional notions of ethnicity and providing a theoretical framework for understanding its dynamic and socially constructed nature. Through his case studies and analysis, Barth demonstrates that ethnic boundaries are not fixed but are shaped by social processes, interactions, and individual agency. His work continues to be influential in the study of ethnicity and identity, encouraging scholars to explore the complexity and fluidity of these concepts in diverse cultural contexts.